things first. Take us through the play because a lot of people don't watch, don't watch what happens leading up to a play. They just see the end result. When I watched it, it looked like it, the, the interception in the end zone looked like the man fell down before he was able to get to the ball. Tell me what you saw in that play. Yeah, well, I, we saw um, a single high safety, and you know, I pushed him over to the left with my eyes and came back, and it was a, a pump route, so the tight end was going off for 10 yards, giving a jab out, and then going to the back of the end zone, and the hole was there, and, and you know, I just put it back there. And, and Blaze, who's just an amazing, Blazevich, who's just an amazing tight end and an amazing person. He's been awesome to, to hang with and get to know this week. Just kind of lost his footing a little bit and, and uh, didn't end up being able to get to, you know, where I put the ball. And Adore came in and made a nice play. Um, but, you know, with Blaze's size, I just trusted him that he would be able to go up and get it. But, you know, stuff happens and, and you know, I don't know if this is the, the best turf uh, in the world or not, but he just seen, he just came over to me and said, you know, that man, that's my fault. I'll take the blame for that. I, I, that would have been a touchdown if I didn't, you know, didn't slip. But uh, at the same time, I've got to be able to wait and see if he he can make it out of the break, and, and it's just as much on me as it is on him. So talk to me about the experience overall. I mean, you earned, came here, you earned the starting position. Maybe there's some people who didn't know about your game. Seemed like you proved a lot to other people. Maybe you didn't prove it to yourself. Maybe you knew all along yourself. It seemed like you proved some things to some other people. Yeah, you know, I've I've always been very confident in my in my in my game, and I knew that I was you know had the ability, all the abilities to come down here and and you know be named a starter and and show everybody that you know maybe they, they didn't think I had um, you know this much game but you know I think to me what was bigger was being named captain you know Jabril and I were talking about that and it, you know it just was a reflection of I guess us leading this week and, and, and kind of getting the guys to mesh together which is you know it's tough to do because th there's a lot of freak talent here and you know everyone's kind of used to being the man on their team and then they come in and it's not necessarily that way so uh, you know I think I think the whole team kind of meshed and, and kind of came together and you know, realize that everyone's a playmaker, and, and um, we did the best we could. Obviously, the outcome wasn't what we wanted, but it was still a lot of fun. You almost immediately turned the page. I mean, you got to go home, get ready to go. To, are you leaving to go to Michigan straight from here? Uh, no, I'm, 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 I'm going back to Richmond tomorrow. Um, I have Saturday to, to kind of pack and kind of collect myself, and then Sunday morning I'm, I'm off to Ann Arbor, and, and Monday is orientation and classes and all that. So. Have you talked to your roommate? Drake is your roommate, right? Drake, yeah. Drake sent me a, a, a cool text this morning just saying he was really excited to see me play and, and you know, he said he, he knew all of my abilities because he came out to the San Diego camp with me and you know he and I have thrown together and, and worked out together and you know he knew what I was capable of but he was just really excited for me to show everyone else what, what could happen and you know I did that a lot this week and, and then you know some glimpses in the game but it's tough when you only have you know a series here a series there and there's other quarterbacks that need to get playing time too. So, so a little lighthearted I mean have you and Drake actually when you were out in San Diego did you guys room together? Have you ever oh, yeah. together? Oh yeah yeah we uh I mean, we what share... kind of roommate is Wilton Space? Uh yeah well I'm a snore that's for sure <laughs> you know I, I'm, I'm gonna be a little loud when I sleep but um you know Drake Drake's the same way he sleeps like a rock so that we figured that out in San Diego that it's not a big deal um but you know he and I are I, mean, I guess kind of messy and stuff, so we leave stuff around, but we're pretty low-key, pretty chill, so I think it's going to work really well. All right, so he's our, he's going to be there probably before. When does he get to, to uh, Dan? He gets sun, get there Sunday, and I get there Sunday afternoon, and he gets there Sunday at noon, so, um, yeah, it's 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 a quick turnaround, so. All right. Well, good luck, Wilton, and thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.